Hey, this is your man, America's man, America's man's man, Peter Vidala. Listen, I, I know some of the, some of you don't like to read, and I, I don't respect that, but we're, we want to get you out of that. We want to get you reading because real men read because you need to be able to read to think and stuff. <laughs> so we're going to talk about fairy tales. Why is America's man's man talking about fairy tales? I know, just the thought of it. It's like, well, I'm, I'm no fairy. I'm no homosexual. Uh, <laughs> and of course, you're following America's man's man. But two of the greatest man's, man's man gurus of the conservative, uh, Christian, patriotic, MAGA, uh, exceptionalist, uh, American... Uh, culture that uh, that we've in, in, inhabited and, and uh, that we've inherited in modern times have a lot to say about fairy tales, and a lot of men are following them, and uh, and so I think that if for no other reason, you ought to maybe take a second look at the uh, the, the messages that are encoded in fairy tales. God knows that the homosexuals at TED which I did another video on this if you want to look back at my blog on Google before it gets banned by the, um, the Marxists, uh, the fascists who run Google, uh, who threw out James Damore because he dared to suggest that men are designed differently than women are by our intelligent designer, our creator, who is Father God, uh, whose son is Jesus Christ, according to the foundational faith of America. Um, <clears throat> so two of these man gurus, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of touch on them. I'll give you the Cliff Notes version because I, I know you probably, uh, since you people who watch this are, they're doing stuff. They're moving and shaking America. I hear that President Trump loves this blog, and I'm, I'm absolutely, uh, I don't want to say I'm flattered, but uh, I'm a little flummoxed. <laughs> well, but uh, no, I uh, thank you. Uh, of course, uh, we love our president here at America's Man's Man. Dot WordPress. Dot com. Uh, feel free to feel free to give, and we'll, we'll get a proper domain name, probably on Epic. Dot com, uh, because I, I hear that they're uh, they're very good to uh, people who march to the beat of the uh, American drummer. Um, and are not total Marxists like Silicon Valley, like Twitter. Twitter is censoring President Trump. You can't follow President Trump. They're shadow banning him like they're shadow banning the rest of us. And uh, President Trump is looking, he's looking at some options for uh, taking, taking care of this, uh, this, this new, new media fake news source, uh, which, uh, which everybody's on. Anyway, but uh, back to the important part, the fairy tales. I'll tell you kind of the backstory here. We uh, Hollywood writers are all about backstory, um, and uh, really, I, I was designing a. Um, there are some really patriot. Did, you know, Walt Disney himself. I did another article uh, about this on America's Man's Man dot com, um, and yet another uh, millennial prone tangent as I drive in very dangerous weather here on the. Uh, very dangerous uh, weather. New England. People can't drive here, by the way. Um, people, just in, if you're ever driving in New England, just know that nobody respects passing lanes whatsoever. <laughs> just, just don't. Just we, we don't. We don't know what a passing lane is, and that that rule uh, that most of the nation respects about. Um, uh, you, you're supposed to, you know, put your high beams on and fog and, and, and bad weather. Don't do not do that in Massachusetts because people will honk at you. Anyway, <laughs> to get back to the point uh, for all you millennials, uh, fairy tales, the serious manly business of fairy tales. You've got Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, he bases his lectures on fairy tales specifically. He does lectures on uh, Pinocchio and Peter Pan. Uh, basically, you, you have to check them out for yourself. I can't do them justice, but basically, he um, he uses the um, the parable and uh, and story. He thinks that Peter Pan has basically subverted popular culture, and um, that may seem like kind of kind of crazy, but 
<laughs> but it's not. Um, uh, I, I actually did a whole blog post on Peter Pan theology and churches and why churches in America are are losing when they should be winning right now because they're they're a bunch of wussies with a capital P. But anyway, um, man, Jinas in the pulpits. Um, anyway. Uh, we're going to, uh, so anyway, uh, Jordan Peterson talks about both uh, Peter Pan uh, as, the, uh, as the king of the losers and how, uh, how the story of Peter Pan has uh, contributed to what I would expound upon on as a, uh, a, a, a generation of adults which does not, repre- which does not respect adulthood. You know, back in the day, back when my grand grandfather grew up, there was adult culture, not just in high society, but even among us, uh, us vulgates, us, uh, us, uh, us ragtag, uh, you know, everyday uh, Jesus following, patriotic, flag loving, praying in schools, clinging to our guns and Bibles, Americans. Okay, and uh, and he. He talks about how, you know, but I've I've read about this uh, kind of, and 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 it makes sense uh, in how adults used to go out dancing with other adults and didn't um, uh, didn't obsess over their their lost childhood because they they realize that it's it's good to be an adult and you can do things as an adult that are so much better than you can do when you're just a kid, you know, and. It, Used to be common sense, but 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 uh, adults now obsess over children. I know, you know, old ladies are dyeing their hair freaking pink. Nobody wants to see that, you know, seriously. Or you know, like a a sixty year old, you know, that that, that listens to uh, you know trashy teenage music. I can't go to the gym without without them playing the the awful awful weird junk. It just it's like thudding you over the head over and over again. Um. Anyway, all of this is to say that Jordan Peterson, manly man, if there is one in the world in this generation besides our beloved President Trump and, you know, America's man's man, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and he bases his lectures on, on fairy tales, notably uh, Peter Pan and Pinocchio, of all things. Check it out. It's a really, really cool lecture. And again, I can't do it justice. Check out. Uh, I, I put links on the story in americasmansman.com, the blog entitled The Seriously Manly Business of Fairy Tales. And um, the other manly man who takes fairy tales very seriously, he is the Christian rebel. Like, he is the first man's man guru uh, who really started playing to Christian audiences, and rightfully so, because ultimately Jesus is the ultimate man's man of all time. Jesus is the ultimate public service of all time. Jesus is the ultimate marketer of all time. I mean, think about it. He's got the best selling freaking book. Jesus Christ. I mean, (laughs) doesn't matter what you're getting into. Public service, marketing, public speaking. You try to compete with Jesus Christ, as President Trump knows, you're going to (laughs) lose. So, you know, uh, there's, anyway... So, anyway, uh, and the third guy, of course, who took, who start, who built an empire, an empire on fairy tales, is the Walter Elias Disney. He was a patriot. The Walt Disney Company today is bloody communist, and uh, they've Walt is spinning in his non-existent grave. Um, anyway, all of this and more on man's, America's Man's Man WordPress.com. Check it out before it gets banned, uh, you know, because that's how Hollywood and uh, and Google and Silicon Valley argue. Oh, well, we, we, we can't stand your argument. We're going to pull your web page down. So, you know, and I'm, I'm glad you caught this video before, uh, before Google did it. But anyway, check it out. I am America's man's man from the hub of the universe, just north of the hub of the universe, because honestly, the actual hub of the universe is getting quite trashed by... Uh, by uh, really fashy liberals, uh, you know, like the kind that sucks up to fascist Antifa, that kind of trashy, uh, trashy um, leftist. Not even a liberal. We, we like classical American biblical liberalism, 
we don't like leftism. Leftism is communism, and, and that's what actually today's Walt Disney Company is, is promoting, is communism. They do it in every... There's a frigging lesbian... There, there's lesbian parents in Toy Story 4. Uh-uh. It's only a matter of time before you can't go to the Magic Kingdom without Prince Charming kissing freaking... Uh, whatever the freak, the name of the prince that kissed Sleeping Beauty was. I, I don't know their, their names. But I hear that the actors who play them in Disney World are homosexuals. The serious business of... <laughs> the seriously manly business of fairy tales. Check it out on americasmansman.wordpress.com. I am America's Man's Man from just north of the hub of the universe. Catch you later.